Hey, 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 Aspen Mountain peeps. Happy Thursday to you. Hopefully you had a wonderful day. I've been pretty busy in the office trying to get some paperwork done, trying to get a bunch of different things organized. Um, I've been on the phone an awful lot, and I still have a couple more calls to make. And at 6 o'clock, I have a mastermind meeting with, with uh, my business coach and his clients. So uh, I got a lot to do still. So I'm, I'm jumping on to talk. How does electrolysis in the water deteriorate your water heater? Well, we'll go ahead and go into that here shortly. If you're watching live, type live. Josh, you better be working, bud. If you're watching it on replay, type replay. If you're watching it on YouTube, go to the subscribe button. Tap that subscribe button. You'll get notifications every time this pops up. We've got a system going pretty good now. It's posting within about... 12 to 18 hours after I do the actual video. So you'll get notifications almost almost immediately. We're getting closer. Should be getting closer to being immediate here soon. Um, but we're getting faster with, with the post from Facebook into YouTube. So definitely, you know, no, get the notifications. You'll get notification every time we come on. This education that I'm giving you, the only place you get it is doing a full apprenticeship for plumbing and some of the tips I can give you can help you save a ton of money <clears throat> at times I'll be direct and tell you that you need to call a plumber on it and other times I won't be so direct so electrolysis in water how does it work okay so first of all what is electrolysis electrolysis is an electrical current that is, is conducive inside water and when you put water inside a copper line it produces a natural electrical current a natural electrical current can be very caustic to different types of metals. So as it goes from copper and then changes into galvanized and cast iron, which a water heater is made of, it can actually deteriorate your, your cast iron water heater from the inside out. Now you already have hard minerals attacking your tank. The last thing you need is electrolysis of water or electrical current. So basically what we, the plumbers, um, put on top of your water heater to stop this from taking place is what we call a dielectric union. And basically what it is, is it's a copper fitting coming in with a rubber gasket and transferring to a galvanized fitting to, to match the galvanized pipe that your, is on your water heater. What this does is that little bit of rubber insulates it from the galvanized and actually bounces it back up into the copper pipe to where it doesn't deteriorate your water heater's tank, okay? Now, can electrolysis affect your copper over time? And the answer is yes. Now, there's ways of stopping this. Some people try putting grounding wires on it. That somewhat works, but it doesn't really affect the water on the inside. So, having a softener system does more than just soften the system for you, the water for you. It also will create an introducer to where it separates the two copper lines. So as that, that electrical current is being built up coming from the main, it hits that plastic head or that, that rubber head on, on your uh, softener and it stops the electrolysis from continuing on. And the same for the water heater. When it gets down to the water heater, it bounces back. It's going to come to that water softener or an expansion tank diaphragm that has rubber in it. And then that'll stop the electrolysis from taking place. Basically what it's doing is it's insulating it and stopping it. If you ever notice on electrical wire, they put a rubber coating on the outside to protect it from other electrical wires. They call it an insulation. Why are they insulating it? Well, it's the same concept as that rubber. It stops electrical current from mixing between the two. If those two get any type of gap in the in the uh, insulation on the wires and your positive and your negative touch or your positive and your ground touch it's going to ground out and it's going to cause electrical issues the same type of th thing is applied when it comes to the water that electrical current's coming in and we put that rubber in there and it stops that electrical current from continuing on it cannot go into the water heater by doing that we put life on your water heater just a little funny fact you didn't know, did you? There's electrical stuff going on inside plumbing all the time. That's why we have to know a little bit about electrical as well. You guys have a wonderful Thursday. We'll catch you tomorrow.